So what the heck is law planning in 681? What was meant by he's trying to get to that room and trying to cause a mess in the new world? Alright, so One Piece 681, it takes place from where the last one left off, and automatically Luffy is pounding CC, and I loved it. I was like, yes, finally, because CC has been talking a mess, and finally he is getting the crap beat out of him, and I was like, oh man, you know, I was really enjoying seeing that, and, um, I feel like CC is dodging and ducking and dodging using his stupid little techniques, and Luffy almost had him, and I was really annoyed when Monet jumped in and threw that little shield, and I got a feeling that Monet, there's going to be a lot more depth to this character after reading this chapter, because um, when Monet protects CC, she says, oh, if I don't protect Master, I will be killed by Joker, and then Luffy's like, oh, that, that bird guy, what, what is he about, or something like that, and automatically I think that Monet is probably like a slave to this guy, and we're going to get a lot of backstory for her. And this also leads potential to her joining the Straw Hats, because, you know, the Straw Hats usually have a really sad past, and this definitely opens up possibilities for her to have, you know, one of those pasts that is really going to make us uh, feel for the character and, you know, feel bad for her and understand her a little bit more, because as of right now, she's just a weird bird lady that is working for CC, but um, after this chapter, it definitely led to new possibilities, because if she's been working for Joker, maybe she's a slave for him, you know, maybe she has a really bad past, and we're going to finally find out about it soon, so um, I definitely said this is a big possibility that she could be a new straw hat because of that, I mean, you know, it's probably very vague and like very small, and you're like, where are you getting that from, but judging from that, it de definitely adds a lot of uh, interesting elements to her because before we didn't know you know why is she working with Cece what was the point but now it seems that she's forced to work with Cece so I don't even think she really cares with Cece if that's the case because she's like you know um she has to not that she wants to so that was very interesting to find out uh then another thing that was going on in the chapter was we go back to Sanji and Virgo and Virgo, I guess we find out that his devil fruit power is that he's like a big thing of steel because he just gets knocked through the freaking like a steel wall and it's like nothing. He's like a thing of iron or something. So that's really interesting, but it doesn't explain exactly what's going on with that whole thing of uh, like stuff sticking to his face and everything. I don't know if it's just that he's an idiot once again or what because the way Sanji describes it is like he seems as though he's an iron guy. So why would he be sticking unless... I don't, I don't know too much about Iron, so maybe there's something there to it, but um, the Sanji versus Virgo fight, I can't wait to see it keep going because it's like, it looks like Sanji's going to have a lot of trouble because if Virgo is just like some Iron guy, then Sanji's not going to be able to deal with him, you know, easily, and uh, I like that the way Sanji describes to Virgo that like, you're somebody that our boss hates the most, you're the type of person he hates the most because Virgo is just like, the, the men behind Virgo just keep on. They're more curious every chapter. Like, yo, why is he doing this? This is not the Virgo we know. And it's seemingly possible. And the way Virgo said that this is an internal matter or an internal affair. It's none of your business. Maybe there is some depth to Virgo. And it's not just that he was a traitor this whole time. Maybe uh, some of what he was to these people was real. And maybe he turned his back on them after a certain point. That's what I was like starting to see maybe possibly after this chapter because the way you said that this is an internal matter and stuff maybe that's what he meant that there was more to it than what meets the eye so I, I thought that was real interesting and then the end of the chapter is like law that sneaky bastard we start to learn a little bit more that he wanted to get to this room and apparently it's a, it's a counteract and the whole reason of him becoming a shichibukai to begin with was that he wanted to get to this room now what the heck could be in this room? I believe um, it was SBA or something like that. I forget exactly what was the term that Monet said. Oh, so I see what's your plan. Kidnap the boss and then uh, um, SDA. And then I was like, wait, what, what's going on? And I, it might not be SDA. I forget exactly what was the term. But um, what is law planning? What What is in this room? I was just like left a little bit dumbstruck with that. Like, you know, what's in this room? The only thing I could think of was maybe a weapon of mass destruction because it was like, he wants to leave a mess in the new world, and then Law has, like, a smile at the end. Maybe there's a possibility whatever is in that room is going to knock out some of the competition. That's the only thing that could really uh, come to mind is maybe, like, a, a weapon of mass destruction that's going to knock out some of the competition. Let me know what you think. What is in that room? 
what is Law planning, and how much longer do you think until Loopy beats CC? Because honestly, I don't want it to like last forever. Loopy versus CC, I want that to go fairly quickly. So I can't wait for the, uh, that fight to end because um, Monet jumping in. Uh, I don't think Monet can really stop Loopy. At the end of the day, Loopy's a beast. But yeah, um, pretty interesting chapter. I enjoyed it. Uh, not really anything to complain. It was um, fairly paced, and everything about it was pretty good. It was pretty solid. Nothing to go crazy about. But I like the Loopy and CC fight is finally you know underway. Monet seems like there's more to her as well as Virgo with this chapter. That's really what I got from it. Like there might be more to both of those characters that meets the eye and. Law. I want to know what the freaking big bad law is planning. I can't wait to find that out. Uh, that's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up if you can't wait to find out what law is planning in this new world. And as always, people, I'm for World, and have an awesome day.